What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast and here we are in the Hammerdown Motorsports shop. Now behind me we have our supercharged 2017 Camaro SS and today we're going to be taking off the front bumper I think for the fifth time now and we're going to be swapping out our factory headlights with the brand new quad LED headlights from Coplus. So I want to start off by saying a huge thank you to Coplus for sending me their headlights and taillights set up for this car. If you guys saw the video we did the taillights already. They're the LED Aventador style. They look absolutely awesome and I can't wait to see what the headlights are going to look like. All right, let's start things off with a little unboxing. Let's see what these things look like. See, everything is packed in here really nicely. I can see already, this is definitely gonna change the look of this car. Got our headlight right here. And we have our wiring instructions right here. I can't wait, I gotta pull this plastic back just to get a good look at what these things are looking like. Oh man, take a look at that. I mean, honestly, it looks exactly like the factory light, minus the fact that you now have these awesome quad LEDs. And now when we do our signal light, we're actually gonna be able to do kind of like a switchback sequential, which is gonna give this car a whole new look. Because the factory lights has that incandescent signal light, and it just looks so dated to have that slow kind of regular bulb in there. I mean, you could swap it out to an LED, but this is a totally new kind of more modern take on these headlights, and it's gonna make this car look absolutely awesome. So now for the fun part, let's get this bumper removed. So now before we remove our bumper completely, let's have one last look at our factory headlights. And you can see how slowly those signal lights come on. They're just a regular incandescent bulb, old filament style. It's definitely time for an upgrade. So now that we have our hood open, it's time to get our T15s on the top removed. And we should be pretty much ready to pull this bumper forward. And we're gonna remove the tow hook. If you guys have one of these in, so it's been a little while since I pulled this front bumper off and in the meantime I did put on the splitter extender which covered up a couple of the bolts that go onto this inner fender underneath here. So let's get those removed and hopefully this whole bumper doesn't fall off while it's up on the lift. Definitely get looser. Uh, I think we're going to lower it down a little bit before we take the last two out. Alright, I think we got everything now. Slide this guy forward enough. So at this point, I think we have our bumper far enough forward where I can get at all of the hardware, kind of manipulate this out of the way, sneak our headlights out, get our new headlights installed, without having to unhook all my underglow and stuff. I have a lot of aftermarket stuff on this car. That's what kind of makes this front end removal a little more tricky than just your standard factory one. But with it in the position that I have it here right now, I think we're gonna be good to go to get these lights removed. And then pull back our bumper and sneak our headlight assembly out. So now before we install our new light, let's have a look at our wiring. We've got this plug right here, looks to be a eight pin. And then over here, we have our two pin that goes to our signal light. And then on our new light assembly, we have the two pin right here. We have the eight pin right here. And then we have another one here for power. And they give you this harness right here, which is gonna go into your fuse box and then out to your two lights. 
It also came with this harness as well, and this is actually a jumper that would go in between the eight pin on your car and the eight pin that goes into the light. And then there's these two connectors right here. Now I'm starting to think that maybe this would be for like an 18 model, something that doesn't apply to my vehicle because if I did connect this at this point, I'm not really seeing why I would need these two connectors. But we are gonna be moving forward with our installation. I'm gonna leave this out for now. If we do need it, I will go back and address that at that time. But I think we're gonna be okay with the wiring that we have over here. And then we have this connector right here, which I'm pretty sure if you disconnect this, it goes from regular mode to sequential mode. And pretty much I'm gonna be running this on sequential mode. If you guys saw the taillight video, I absolutely love that feature and I can't wait to have it on the front as well. Here, then we've got our eight pin connector. Snap that in, lock in the red tab, place our wiring nicely in behind here. And I think at this point, I'm gonna hook up the 12 volt power that goes with our new harness that's gonna end up going to our fuse box, just so when this light is in place, we don't have to try to fiddle with that in behind. All right, now we can get our headlight into position. And then we can get our screws started. So now that our headlight is nicely fastened in place, we have the new 12 volt hooked into our wiring. Then we have right here, this little piece that goes into our fuse box. And I kind of went through and had to make a judgment call on which port I was gonna put it in. And I settled on this little 10 amp right here. And if you look under the lid, it says that it's for manual headlight level. So we're gonna pull that one out and then we're gonna plug in this one right here, which is gonna take the place of that fuse and allow us to have power to our new harness. So now you can see we have our fuse box cover back on. I've got my wire coming out this little corner. I just kind of clearance this out just so it would still snap into place. You can see everything is nice and secure. And then we're just gonna route our wiring across over to the left-hand side and then just tie up all the excess. So on the driver's side, if you have a regular Camaro, you're gonna be fine. You can install it, everything will be great. My car has a Vortex supercharger on it, so it has this pipe that goes to the intercooler from the blower. And the new design on these headlights adds a little bit to the back and ends up touching this pipe right here, right on this corner. So I'm headed over to Westy Speed Shop, see if he can figure something out. Maybe we can cut this part out make a new piece and just kind of have it come down like the provision over here already is. But like I said, this is kind of a Vortex Supercharger only kind of deal. If you have a regular car, you don't have to deal with this kind of stuff. And just like that, fast forward two weeks later, we have a new camera. We still have the Camaro apart, but we do have our pipe modified. We took it over to Westy and this is the result. Everything is really actually not obstructing it horribly. Everything should flow fairly well. And unfortunately, we had to end up cutting into the pipe slightly for our charge pipe for the blower, just so we can make this all work. But we have to sacrifice something to get these headlights in, and that was just what's gonna happen. So hopefully eventually, I can actually reroute this pipe around so we can make this work a little bit better. But for now, this is gonna fit our headlights and our charge pipe for a blower. We're good to go. So. Now let's get this whole car put back together and check out what these lights look like. So now by using the magic of YouTube, let's get it back together right now. And just like that, it is nighttime and we have our entire car put back together and check out these headlights. They look absolutely awesome. They do have a little bit more of a darker look than the factory ones. Kind of that LED that goes for the daytime running lights is a little tiny bit darker, but it definitely gives it a whole lot more of a sinister look. You can see it here, it's almost like you have the tinted covers on your headlights. They're so dark with those awesome LEDs. But now let's check them out with the lights on. Oh yes. You can see we have our LED daytime running light down below. We've got our quad LEDs, we just got it on the low beam right now. When we hit our unlock, you can see it goes to the switchback right with our LED daytime running light. So for right now, we have our signal light in standard mode on the right hand side. But over on the driver's side, we have it in sequential mode. Oh yes. So now not only do we have our sequential taillights from Code Plus, these are the Hero taillights. If you guys missed the video, we did do an installation video on these as well. So now when we hit our unlock button, we have our sequential taillights 
And in the front to match, our sequential signal lights up front. This car just went from 2017 all the way up to 2020 and beyond. So there it is everybody. We got our headlights and taillights installed. Huge thanks to CoPlus for sending us this setup. Definitely transformed the entire look of the car. So if you guys are interested in getting a setup just like this for your Camaro, definitely check out Fast Tech Performance and Mirimoto. I will have the links in the description. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down. Thank you.